Amongst the heads of state, there is only one who is standing up to the forces of evil. Don't count on Boris Johnson in England. Don't count on Macron in France. Don't count on Draghi in Italy. It's Vladimir Putin, who may be no angel and no saint, but nevertheless, he is a man of intelligence and great courage. And at the head of Russia, he has the means of standing up to the one world government. A few days ago, I was very impressed. It was a group of Polish ladies, Catholics, who all understood the, that Vladimir Putin was right. I was very surprised because I know between Poland and Russia there's often been war. Maybe it will come again. The Russians are fighting in Ukraine but not in such a way as to smash or crush you. Putin, he has said, is to denazify and demilitarize yes, the Ukraine. Nothing. But foolish Europe is following the United States to attempt to crush Russia. The war may well become worse. We must do what we can to prepare. It seems clear now that one of the next tricks of the, of the criminals ruling the world will be an artificially created famine. Prepare at home by pre buying now, while it still can be bought, things like rice and flour. I don't know. But be prepared for there not to be enough food. They played the trick of COVID. They played the trick of uh, Ukraine provoking since 2014 Russia. Russia has needed to defend itself. The real aggressor attacker is not the apparent attacker. Russia was provoked for s several years from the Ukraine by the agents of the United States. Because the United States, they were Christian, relatively Christian, well, not, not, not Catholic, but mostly Protestant. And the devil was able to deceive those Christians. And now the, re the real religion of many Americans is not religion, but their politics. Many of them, out of patriotism, wish to destroy Russia, because Russia is the last obstacle to the one world order.